Hey everybody, it's me, Rylan. It is September 9th at 10 48 p.m. And I just, I wanted to make a video um, about something that happened today that's extremely upsetting. Uh, so trigger warning uh, to everybody, this has to do uh, with eating disorders and body image and all that stuff. So let's get into it. Uh, long story short, had to go to the dermatologist today. Um, because there was something funky going on with one of my toes and it was looking a little discolored. Um, and my dermatologist uh, ended up sending a prescription to my uh, pharmacy. And this pharmacy I've gone to for four years since I've lived in this neighborhood. They're fantastic. I know their names, they know mine. They call me on my birthday and if I don't answer, they will leave me a voicemail. It's just like, it's a really great place. Um, so I went in there to pick up my med for my toe and what ended up happening was I was taken aside by the main pharmacist who owns, you know, this, the pharmacy name is his, uh, let's say it's like Butterfingers. Um, he's Mr. Butterfinger <laughs> and, um, Mr. Butterfinger pulled me aside and basically, uh, got on me about my weight and was saying, um, you know, because I was using X medicine, that the reason it's happening to me is because, you know, I, because like I'm overweight and was saying at, you know, at my age that, um, you know, if I don't change things that these are going to, that things are going to become worse. And first of all, he's not a doctor. He's not my doctor and he's not a doctor. Did I mention he's not a doctor? Because he's not a doctor because he's a pharmacist, which means that he gives out drugs. He doesn't prescribe them, AKA he doesn't know my medical history and he doesn't know anything about me. He went on to tell me in this 10 minute conversation as I was just like standing there with a bottle of soap because I was just trying to get my meds and leave that um, I needed to lose about five pounds and you know, not super rapid but like in the next five months it could be by christmas and asked me if i drank soda and i said yes i do like i fucking love mountain dew yes i drink soda and he was like well you can't drink soda anymore um you know no juice uh no white bread uh drink um water at room temperature not cold which is weird because i thought i've I don't know, I always thought like drink cold water because it burns calories faster, but that could that could just be diet culture lying to us as it does. Um, so yes, I was given unsolicited advice about my body and my weight by somebody that knows absolutely nothing about my medical history, by someone that has no idea that they are speaking to someone that has had a very severe eating disorder for the past 13 years of their life, and that also has body dysmorphia disorder. So I'm really fucking pissed because as if that wasn't bad enough to say those things to me, he ended up giving me a handy dandy piece of paper with a bunch of instructions, a bunch of tips. Let's read them, shall we kids? To build up immune system, lose weight and help control blood pressure, diabetes, stomach acid, pain, and much more. Uh, take one tablet daily, high potency multivitamin, zinc, grape, seed ac uh, extract, and fish oil. Take probiotic uh, and magnesium at night. Walk one to two miles a day and exercise regularly. No juice, except for whole fruit. No soda or drinks with sugar. No white bread, no ice cream or candy, no smoking. Eat low carb, more green food, more vegetables, more fruit. Eat slow and drink plenty of warm water, eight to 10 glasses per day. No argue with spouse, be positive, meditate, and relax. Well, guess what? Fuck that shit. I'm pissed because I've been working with my doctor for the five years that I've lived in New York. He doesn't know anything about the reason that I weigh the reason, the, excuse me, he doesn't know the reason that I weigh what I weigh. Um, quick history. Uh, I was on a psychiatric med that made me gain over 80 pounds in a short amount of time. At that same time, I had an undiagnosed thyroid problem, which caused me to gain another 40 pounds. And then I had PCOS, which caused me to gain more weight. So in a little under than two years, I gained over 100 pounds. It is in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, COVID, Corona, where many people are struggling with their weight. 
there is this fucked up culture you know the covid 15 where people are saying you know like demonizing gaining weight and saying like this is a time that you need to be not only super productive by like reading books and learning a language but you need to be sure to not gain weight even though like the world is falling apart for some people and it's like not everybody is dealing with what's going on in the world in the same way some people are gaining weight some people are stress eating and that's fucking fine these are stressful times for everybody but I have been working with my doctor and therapists on my eating disorder so to have some person come to me and tell me that I need to lose five pounds in a in a time period to not only just say lose five pounds but then to put a time frame on it is absolutely disgusting uncalled for upsetting triggering and did I say disgusting because if I didn't it's disgusting I'm pissed off. This is not his fucking place to say anything. And what's ridiculous is, is the medicine is like for my foot, right? Some people are on meds for things that like has nothing to do with the reason they're using it. For example, I'm on an anti-anxiety. That anti-anxiety is usually prescribed for people that are having allergic reactions to hives. A common mood stabilizer called Lamictal is usually used for seizures. But it's used as a mood stabilizer for someone that might have bipolar disorder so for this person to assume uh, that because I'm having this toe medicine that it must mean it's you know for whatever health problem that is apparently like impeding and like coming my way is just absolutely ridiculous I'm not maybe I'm not using that toe medicine for whatever reason he thinks that I am it's just so fucked up and I am really sick of people commenting on other people's weight. Eating disorders are so prevalent. Anorexia is the number one mental illness that will kill people. And the thing is, is most people that have eating disorders are of normal weight. You cannot look at somebody's body and say, yeah, they have an eating disorder. This person, they're definitely anorexia. They're definitely anorexic. And the thing about anorexia, which is, you know, restricting food and, and not eating, is being thin is a side effect of anorexia. It doesn't mean that everybody is thin. People wouldn't look at me and assume that I restrict food, that I have a horrific relationship with my body, or that I used to be bulimic in high school. You wouldn't know that. And with bulimia, statistically, most people weigh a normal number. So again, you wouldn't know. So what's upsetting to me is he didn't know who he was talking to. I could have another eating disorder. I could have binge eating disorder and hear all of that information and go home and eat that ice cream that I'm not supposed to. Have some bread, have a couple sodas. It's just really fucked up that, 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 someone who's not even a medical professional like he doesn't have my lab results he doesn't know what levels are what to like give me advice like that i am working very hard with my mental health and and physicians to work on the weight gain that has unfairly been you know impressed upon me because of circumstances out of my control and it's just it's it's just extremely activating to, to hear that, to be reminded of something that I struggle with on a daily basis, and then to get an opinion that I didn't fucking ask for and that I didn't need. Not cool. So if anyone takes anything away from this video, is that you can't look at somebody and know whether or not they have an eating disorder because eating disorders have many different faces. Someone would look at me and just think that maybe I'm fat, I'm chubby, I'm curvy, I'm thick, I'm overweight, whatever word you want to use, but they don't know what actually is going on. So let's not judge people, let's not make assumptions, and overall, it is nobody's place to comment on anybody else's body. It's just not. If a friend loses weight, don't comment on it, honestly, because that reinforces potential negative behavior of how they lost that weight. People always get comments on when they get skinnier. When I lost a bunch of weight, oh my God, Rylan, you look amazing. How did you lose weight? 
Oh, you know, I just started paying attention to what I ate and exercised more. No, I was eating under 500 calories a day. Don't comment on people's weight. It's none of our business. Losing weight, being heavier, being thinner shouldn't be glorified and it is not a measure of our self-worth. It's not. Numbers should not define people. It's just not. It's just not. So that's where I'm at. And yeah, super great day. Recovery's a bitch. Um, and if I can, before time runs out, I do want to read really quickly this this quote that I think is fantastic by this um, famous Instagram therapist <clears throat> who uh, posts a lot about eating disorders. She said, if you are in recovery from or have a history of an eating disorder, there is simply no way to eat clean, quit sugar, avoid processed foods, go on a diet, even if you call it a lifestyle change, and strongly maintain your recovery. It's paradoxical. It's like saying, let me heal from a mental illness that causes me to obsess and focus about food and my body by finding a new way to obsess and focus on food in my body. Have a good night and I'm sure I will see you all soon, but just, it's not our place. All right, bye all.